for everything going on. So, yeah. Um, okay, I think we're good to go. I will kick it off. So pleased to be joined by Laura Hillenbrand, the author of best-selling novels such as Unbroken and, of course, Sea Biscuit. Both of those novels turned into featured films and, and outstanding ones, Laura. But we're here to talk about horse racing, and you're involved with Authentic, which we'll get to in just a second. First of all, how did you become so interested in, in thoroughbred horse racing and, and leading you to write the, the wonderful novel and eventual movie Sea Biscuit? Oh, thank you for the compliment. Um, my father used to take me to Charlestown Racetrack when I was a very little girl, and I, I fell for it then. I've never been a better. It's all been about the beauty of the horses and the athleticism of the horses and jockeys for me. And uh, it just was kind of a continuous line to, to writing about it one day. Uh, from Charlestown, did you get a chance to, to go to any big races when you were growing up with your father? I grew up in Maryland, so I went to the Preakness every year in, in childhood. I was there for Genuine Risk versus Kodax. I was there for Pleasant Colony, Aloma's Ruler, Deputed Testimony, all those great ones from when I was a kid. They're absolutely wonderful. We'd stand at the finish line, get there at six o'clock in the morning, stand there the whole day and scream our heads off. It was great. Well, it's, it's too bad you can't be there this year, given your yeah. involvement with Authentic, and we'll get to that in a second. But before we do, uh, take me to the, the planning and the, the lead up to writing uh, the novel Sea Biscuit. How did you first come up with the idea, and how long did it take you to put in the research and, and ultimately write the book? When I was eight years old, I went to a, uh, a fair, and there was a, a table of books there. And for a quarter, I bought a book called Come on, Sea Biscuit. I read it so many times the pages fell out, the cover fell off. I, I still have it wrapped up in a rubber band. And I learned his story that way. When I became a racing writer, uh, when I was an adult, I went back to the story and discovered a whole story no one had ever told before about the people. And I uh, went off from there and, and started working on it, thought it could be a book, and it was. A great book and certainly transitioned into a wonderful movie for anybody who hasn't seen it. I'd be shocked if they have it. You need to uh, get a hold of that book and, and uh, put your eyes on that movie following the, the reading of that book. But uh, Laura, uh, my racehorse, you're involved with them. You're a shareholder with Authentic. And what a ride it's been so far after his Kentucky Derby victory, now on to the Preakness. How did you get involved with my racehorse and, and ultimately decide to buy into Authentic? A dear old friend of mine named Richard Glover, who is a former racing writer and editor, uh, sent me a message saying, I'm going to invest in this horse through MyRaceHorse.com. Uh, it's authentic. Uh, do it with me. Let's do it as friends. And I said, great. And I contacted some of my friends, a bunch of them bought shares, and we all now have a little tiny piece of the horse. And, and uh, we're hoping one day we can take them home to a backyard and have them as, a, as a, like a pony ride pony once he's done. We think that's realistic. You might have to fight with the folks at Spendthrift uh, after he races up his racing career, wraps up his racing career for that one. But uh, going back just a few weeks ago now with the, with the Kentucky Derby, what was that experience like? You know, I think for me and for an awful lot of people in racing, the thing that connects us to the sport, the thing we're reaching for is to be able to connect ourselves to these incredible athletes and the, the, the people and the animals and to try to connect ourselves to the character and the speed and the beauty of a horse. And I think that's a large reason why people buy racehorses. But people like me can't just buy some big dollar racehorse that can run in the Kentucky Derby. And it was so much fun to be able to share a little bit in that experience, finally, after watching it my whole life, to be able to be screaming as the horse ran down the stretch and in a little tiny way, it was my horse. And everybody who experienced it, who was, who was on board with my racehorse, um, had that same feeling of, wow, this is, this is a little bit of me that's running down the stretch right now. It was, it was such an experience of jubilation. I'll, I'll never forget it, just wonderful. Yeah, we've heard so many stories like that, uh, whether it be with the Haskell and obviously now uh, with the Kentucky Derby, but now looking ahead, to the Preakness Stakes and what you just said earlier, the fact that you'd gone there, you'd seen some of the biggest names compete of their generations in the Preakness Stakes. Is this, I don't want to call it more important, but for you on a personal level, does it take on extra added importance that it's the Preakness Stakes and your ties to uh, those experiences you had when you were younger? Yes, for me, the Preakness is the big one of, of the Triple Crown for me because I was there every year and, and because I had a really intimate experience with that race from early childhood, it, that's the one that I'd like to win. Um, and and uh, I will be going even more crazy if Authentic does this thing again. What a horse and, and what an experience, what a memory to carry out of it I will have. Before I let you go, where are you going to be watching the Preakness? 
I will probably just be in my bedroom. Just uh, you'll hear me from wherever you are because I'll be yelling. Well, Laura, uh, we appreciate the time here in this discussion and appreciate your involvement with my racehorse and, and your ties back to racing with Seabiscuit. Uh, wonderful catching up with you and uh, best of luck with the Preakness and this continued journey with Authentic. Thank you so much. That was wonderful, Laura. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Have a good time. All right. I'll tell us where you are. I'd love to be at the track. <laughs> well, hopefully we'll get to cross paths sometime. I'd love to meet you in yeah, person. I'd love that. Yeah. Thank you. All right, Laura. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.